What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to cover things I believe you may have missed from the past few days and all these exciting trailers we've had for Destiny 2. Two and a few other things I'm going to mention too but before we go any further people I'm giving away this resurrectionist emblem to enter simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below now I have examined every detail of each trailer we've seen looking for goodies others may have missed now I have been asked on numerous occasions how I spot things that are literally on screen for a fraction of a second so I'll let you guys in on a little secret I actually render that trailers as image sequences so I can go through a trailer frame by frame I end up looking through thousands of images most of the time but it's definitely worth it to bring you guys such in-depth details on things you may have missed videos now I've already covered the PS4 exclusives, the beta release dates in other videos so I won't bother mentioning them today uh, but you can find them videos linked in the video description if you do want to check them out. Okay so getting into it, so we had a trailer showcase at E3 so we're going to start with that. So the Darkest Hour trailer showcases little but does reveal more about the expected story with Destiny 2. Now we know the main plot behind the story so far is to take back our light and defeat Ghoul or Gary. That part was pretty obvious. But for a split second in the video we actually see the Red Legion loading into the tower. We see what looks to be a takeover not just an invasion. So no doubt in my opinion somewhere down the line we will have to fight back for the tower again. As we know in that first story mission at Homecoming, we actually fail trying to defend the tower and it kickstarts Destiny 2 with our search outside the safe zone where we dive into the European dead zone and we find our new social space, that being the farm. So sooner or later we're going to have to go back to the tower and take that shit back, which I really enjoy the idea of. Maybe, just maybe, somewhere in the raid we may have to fight in the tower. Who knows? I mean, it's just an idea. It may not be that way, maybe on a couple ship, but yeah, probably the way, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so digging deeper into the trailer, we see what I believe to be a new exotic sword. Now, we see it only for a split second. What I find most interesting about this, though, is the logo on the weapon. What is that logo? Something new? Something we've seen before? Let me know if you recognise it, because I don't. Now if you look closely in this scene, it looks kind of like this weapon has the same attack as the Razor Lighter, an updated version maybe, who knows. Now in the same scene we see this Titan with this shotgun. What I love most about this is the camo texture this weapon bears, loving that. Actually really hard to spot but when you slow it down or see it frame by frame you actually see it quite clearly. Okay so moving on and again I believe we see another exotic weapon, this time it's a grenade launcher. The design on this thing looks absolutely amazing, the pattern on the side of the weapon screams at me Tex Mechanica. Look at that sight as well, it looks amazing. To be honest, exotics we've seen so far from these trailers do look seriously unique in design, which I think is great. Something you kind of missed is the dubious volley, now it's clearly there, we all know that, and that really ain't worth covering, but a question many people are wondering, are if the shots fired from this weapon track their enemies, if we slow down the footage we can see it looks like they begin to track before it cuts the scene, but I think we actually saw in a previous gameplay trailer that the actual shots do track enemies, so that clears that up. Okay, so switching trailer, and now we're going to look through the PS4 exclusive trailer. And first things first, it seems as though the Taken have returned. Now the PS4 exclusive strike called the Lake of Shadows within the European Dead Zone. We can see clearly here it's a strike where we fight against the Taken again. So what the hell are they doing back? Now I ain't sure if anyone noticed it, but some of these Taken enemies were part of the Red Legion. Seen by the armour on this Taken enemy, I think this guy could actually be the strike boss, but don't quote me on that. So how has it come about that the Red Legion have been taken over by that Taken shit? That's something I can't wait to find out. Hopefully we do find out. Also notice the banners during the same strike. I ain't sure what house they belong to but I am curious to find out. If you know, let me know. Now I've covered the Beryllius Exotic Sniper in a previous video and we know it can basically switch its burn to any type you want so it isn't really worth covering that again. The PS also get an exclusive map for PvP. Now although I don't really care much about PvP, I do love the idea of this map. 
which I believe is the first of its kind for PvP players. The actual map is on board a ship mid-battle, if you didn't realise. You can see clearly the cannons in the background shooting their designated targets. I love this idea. It's fighting among a flying ship sounds epic to me. Now within this snippet of gameplay we see on this PvP map, we see a hunter gets a couple of kills. For a split second we see this epic looking ghost shell glowing in that red and white. Hard to spot at first but pretty epic to see, especially the design on the thing. But other than that people there really isn't that much to cover from these trailers that I haven't already mentioned in previous videos. But other things that are definitely worth mentioning just in case you've not heard. The Ward of Dawn for the Titan will make a return. Yes you heard that right. Titan Defender are making a return. Basically the Titan's new Sentinel subclass has a perk which allows you to drop a bubble instead of gaining that death shield. Sounds good to me and I'm pretty sure all you Titan lovers out there will appreciate this. We also got to see some true 4K 60 frames per second gameplay of the first story mission Homecoming. That will be linked in the video description. It's definitely worth your time checking out because damn, it looks incredible. Now to end the video, we're gonna end on a big note and that was the Big Show sit down Destiny 2 panel, which was as funny as hell. I absolutely love the Big Show, such a down to earth dude. Plus the fact he told Titans to leave made me love him even more. All right. Now how many Destiny fans do we have here today? Yeah. All right. How many Titans do we have here? <laughs> okay, you guys can leave now. Now, the whole stream can be found all over YouTube, but if you want a quick link, I will link it in the video description. Now, during the stream, the Big Show was handed a life-size prop of a new exotic weapon coming to Destiny 2 called the Cold Heart. With Cold Heart. Okay, okay, that's an exotic. One of our new exotics. Oh. Now in his hands it looks like a sidearm because it's so big, but when we hold it it's going to look like a damn cannon or something. Pretty sure this thing could have been a fusion rifle or something else, who knows. Definitely an Amalon weapon though. But yeah, for damn sure it looks pretty cool. But people, that is it for another video. I hope you enjoyed your stay. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for Daily Destiny videos. And as always people, I will see you on that next one.